Alright, so today we're gonna play the Tower of Holy Flip. It's mid intense, um, but reality, it doesn't seem that hard. You just gotta be consistent, you know? So, first off, it's just some medium wraps, you know? The usual. If you play difficulty chart obbies, you should have that down, you know? When I first start, or when I yeah, when I first started to get into obbying, I did uh, difficulty chart obbies to like train my individual you know micro skill, and then I immediately moved on to uh, GTOH. And I took a long break, but now I'm back. Right, it's not really a break. I just quit obbying like a year, year and a half, but. For some reason I feel like doing obbies. I guess I'll do them. I was I don't know if you can tell, but um the soundtrack is from Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Like this rhythm game. I played it for like one. I played it one time, two times, and I just quit. Listen. It was a good game, but I weren't I wasn't really into it, you know. Oh, I forgot about that. I gotta make sure I don't. Take my mic. I see there for this one. In the in practice, I like to go like that. Makes it way easier. Hopefully, we can do this in one try. All right, here's another conveyor jump. All right, we're on to floor three. Pretty easy so far. And very jump. This is actually, although it's just a bunch of copy and pasted jumps, it, it feels pretty consistent to play. Right there, I almost choked that. That was actually pretty hard to do. But. They're scary, but it's a. Extremely doable. We're on a uh, floor floor or yeah, floor floor already. Music might be do that. I'm not sure. For some reason, I didn't think I made it. So I you know what I did. Thought I fell. So I just did that again. It's not hard. Just a bunch of copy and paste the jumps. I just gotta not rush. If I don't rush, I can do this easily. As I say that, bro, for some reason I actually rushed. I shouldn't be having trouble at this part. This part is actually extremely easy. I don't know why I'm struggling. Apologies for the delay. Alright, here's another conveyor jump. Just go like that. Easy wraps. Right here, you just go like that and just pretend it's a head hitter. My strat for tight ropes, I just like to line up my cursor. I have a custom dot cursor I did a couple years ago, I just kept it, so. It's I didn't do obbing back then, but uh, it's extremely useful for tight rope bugs and alignment stuff. Alright. As, as you can see, it's just a bunch of copy and pasted jumps. Uh, you know, like carefully, don't rush. All right, for this one, you just the uh, momentum jump. Stuck actually. All right, you just have momentum jump. You just go like that. If you've never done one before, you should like definitely practice it before you do it. Uh, this one's actually a pretty hard jump, but you just go out and then in. Disappearing platforms, just do it carefully. This one is not just so. Alright, this one, just align it up. Yeah, I should do a skip here, or not a skip, but a shortcut. Try to do it. If you're confident, just do that. 
if you want to, you know, play it safe, just do the long way. It only saves like five seconds. All right. Uh, these are this one. This one's actually pretty hard. So I'm not sure if that was the correct way to do it, but it worked. Might have been harder though. All right. This is this whole section is just copy and pasted. It. It's literally just the same jump over and over. I almost messed that up, but luckily I came back. You should never like. You should never second guess yourself when you jump like that. But for some reason I did, and luckily uh, I didn't get punished for it. But that snare, I should just went with the jump. Like my micro movements is extremely sloppy right now. I don't know why. All right, next floor. This looks like conveyor jump. I'm not sure. If it's not. Oh wait, I hate this floor. Just gotta stay to the center and just go like that. It's easy. Stay in the center. Try to land in the center. All right. Now that part's done with. You just jump like that and just wrap around. If you have like food, just eat it and you'll be safe. This one is actually a pretty safe floor. Always check before you jump. I didn't even check that, my bad. Right as I say that, I didn't even do it. Gotta be careful with my health. This one you wanna climb it like that. And with that, and hit it here. Alright, here's another one. It's pretty simple. You just walk into that one. It's tough, but I'm gonna use the alignment keys to make this easier. All right, that's pretty easy. Honestly, this or Toai Tower of Impossible Expectations should be your first intense IMO. This is actually my third intense. Because I did um, Tower of Impossible Expectations, and then I did uh, Tower of Tokyo Heights. Tokyo Heights is honestly not that hard. You just have to be consistent with your um, ladder flicks. If you could do ladder flicks, well, you could do uh, Tokyo Tower Heights easily. It's a big wrap. Wrap, not that. One stud spam. I'm gonna just heal up before I do this section. This section hurts a lot, so I'm gonna just heal up. Alright, I think I'm healthy enough, so I'm gonna just go up. Actually, I'm not healthy enough. I'm gonna wait some more. Better play it safe, you know. If I was a pro, I would just ladder flip, get that. But I'm not pro enough. Pretty sure you guys can wait a couple extra seconds. If you can't, just skip. 10 seconds ahead and I should be done this portion. If you're listening, if you're just listening to this for ASMR, um, I guess you could like, hey, I don't know. All right, back to one stud spam. Just play it slowly and out, and I like to use alignment keys. So I don't have to worry about one movement and for this one you just go like that you skip the second wrap these are actually some pretty hard wraps but it's just routine if you know how to wrap all right all right so there we go there we go that path right there is actually a trap so don't use that path you just skip straight to the stud but i to play it safe I'm close to finishing the tower, so I'm feeling a bit nervous, you know, but, yeah, uh, control your nerves. <laughs> I saved that. That's actually, that was actually pretty clutch. That was actually pretty clutch. Clips might be enabled, so I'm gonna clip that later. That was so clutch. 
All right, here's one more conveyor. All right. Your, the hard part is right there. So this is floor 10. So we're almost done. Take a deep breath. Deep breaths, you know. I'll calm you down. All right. So right here, I'm not allowed to take breaks. This is gonna be a head hitter. I haven't practiced a head hitter today. So hopefully I can do it in one try. If I can't do it in one try, well then I'm like, well, I just fell down the whole tire. I'll see you guys at the top. Hey, what's up guys? Um, it's been like a day. Since I, a day or two actually, since I completed this, or went to this step. But now that I'm back, uh, let's try it again. I'm not warm yet, so. But this time I'm gonna try the sidestep method. So let's see if it works. All right, that's one. That's one down. All right, that's two down. All right. All right I'm pretty nervous right now. Not gonna lie. I just can't choke these last couple of jumps. All right, all right, all right. These are the last two jumps. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. I finally beat Tower Holy Flip, 11 minutes. Of course, it took me like an extra day, extra two days. But, um, I don't know how I got stuck on the dip. Not gonna lie, it was pretty easy. So, um, I recommend you guys do this tower. Tower of Holy Flip. It's not that hard. It's overrated IMO, but it's a pretty good tower, I guess. Good for consistency. Well, That'll be it. Uh, my next video should be about the tower or the citadel of laptop spinning because I still haven't beat that yet. So I'll probably start on that next. I might go in like a easier tower, but the next goal is the citadel of laptop spinning. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Peace.